Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Terra. Hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So tonight and tomorrow morning, I will be finishing up the readings for the second half of May finally. So sorry for the delay. It's been very, very rough. Energy-wise and time-wise and life's just been crazy and things are finally starting to slightly get back to normal around here. So... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet, but we're working through it either way. Um, Sagittarius, you are the last of the mutable signs, so your reading is next. This reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. Is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all? It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Sagittarius. Don't worry about it. Just check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you feel so compelled. If not, hey, that's okay, too. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of our past watcher. And you guys are welcome here, too. Come on and have a seat. We're going to throw down some cards and have a good time. Okay, without further ado, one more good shuffle. We'll cut and get Saggy's cards on the table. Sag, why are you here? strength in the reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo, disconnecting from a Leo. You're drained. Wow, that's resonate with me right now. Okay. Let's see what else the cards have to say. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius, um, how you feel about the person you're dealing with is the Three of Swords, reversed. Um, you feel like they're slowly coming out of a state of heartbreak about something. Maybe the heartbreak is no longer bothering them as much. Take it out of it resonates. Well, you think of them as the High Priestess. You see them as very intuitive? possibly look at them as a soulmate like lifetime after lifetime maybe maybe you dream about each other weird stuff like that you've been hanging out for a while like there's just too many similarities things of that nature um what you want from them is the empress reversed i'm going to get a little bit of clarity on this um Because this is saying you don't want growth, you don't want this to expand any more than it has. So, let me throw a clarifier on it. But first, how the person you're dealing with feels about you is the Eight of Swords in reverse. They feel like you're slowly coming out of a cage in your own thoughts about something, an issue. What they think of you is the Queen of Wands reversed. Possibly kind of feeling like you've lost momentum. You've lost your mojo about something. Maybe you're not as confrontational as you used to be. You've mellowed out a little bit. Something like that. What they want from you is the Queen of Cups reversed. Emotional withdrawal. Maybe not necessarily from them, but from something. Okay, the obstacle in this situation is the Tower reversed. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll bring it down a little bit tower reversed. So the obstacle here is rebuilding what has been broken down. I'm so glad we get clarifiers. What needs to be done is the devil reversed. So disconnecting from something toxic. Disconnecting from not so savory behaviors. 
possibly disconnecting from each other. You guys, y'all could be like, I don't know, sexually drawn to each other? Something like that, maybe? Maybe that's all it is? I don't know. Hmm. Projected outcome at this point is the Six of Swords. That's a moving on card. Let's, okay. Get a little clarity. Uh, let's clarify with the Gilded Deck tonight. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get a little clarity for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of May. A little bit of clarity for the cards on the table for Sagittarius for the second half of May, please. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. Why is Three of Swords reversed here? Nice Swords. Hmm. You feel like they spy on you? You feel like they know things they shouldn't? Maybe they talk a lot. One more. Maybe they're constantly looking at your social media pages. Things of that in nature. You didn't drop out by yourself. You got thrown. Flip. Five of Wands. You feel like potentially they're, it's always an argument or a confrontation. So they're coming out of a state of heartbreak. You feel like they stalk you physically, energetically, or otherwise. And there's always an argument, a confrontation that's very draining. Everything's very draining. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? What Sagittarius thinks about the other person? Two of Swords reversed. Oh boy. Having to make a painful choice. One more. You don't see it eye to eye. If I can make words work right now, you don't see eye to eye on things. Hi. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You there may be some financial crutch things here. Like dependency. Possibly. I don't know who depends on who, but it's showing up. Why is the Empress reversed here for what Sagittarius wants from the other person? Yeah, I think I'm going to stop after this reading. <laughs> I'm getting a little whipped. Hi. Two of Cups. Yeah. Sagittarius, this is going to sound weird, but you want this to be done. You want to disconnect. I think you're over the dependency stuff. Possibly. I think you find it to be draining. There may have been a child involved, or there may be a child involved. Possibly this child is all grown up and gone. And the nest is empty, and you just think it's time, maybe? One more. Maybe one more. One more. Three of Wands. Oh boy. waiting. You're waiting on something. 
I think you're... You might be waiting for the perfect time. I dare not finish that sentence. You might be waiting for the perfect time to end it. Or to break it to this person gently. I don't know. I don't know. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed here for how the other person feels about Sagittarius? The Sun and the Magician in reverse. Oh, wow. There's a connection there. But they feel like you don't feel it as strong as they do. They feel like you're manipulative. Like you're a puppet stringer. Like you know what to say and how to say it. Take that however it resonates. Okay. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here for what the other person thinks is Sagittarius? Oh, just how they fell. Okay. Ace of Wands reversed and the Two of Pentacles reversed. Juggling emotions, juggling time, losing your mojo, losing ambition. The match isn't striking. It, maybe it's maybe it's not as hot and passionate as it used to be. Maybe possibly they feel they think you're juggling emotions, juggling people. Can I get one more on that? <clears throat> Seven of Cups, you they think you have options. Oh, wow. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups reversed here for what the other person wants of Sagittarius? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? The Tower reversed. Rebuilding the tower, turning back the clock. They want you to emotionally withdraw from something else. They want to turn the clock back. They want to rebuild the tower. The obstacle is rebuilding the tower. Why is the tower reversed here for the obstacle? Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Somebody's out in the cold. Maybe not physically. Maybe you didn't physically throw them out. But they could be emotionally or mentally out of the relationship. One more. Three of Pentacles reversed. It's not coming together. It's not steady. The foundation isn't stable. Okay, why is the double reversed here for what needs to be done? Four of Swords, restless energy. High Priestess popped back out. Sexual tension, restless energy. Y'all are soulmates, so you're energetically all in up each other's shit all the time. One more. What needs to be done? 
Y'all flipped around weird. I'm taking you. The Chariot and the Queen of Wands both in the upright. Get that fire back and truck on. Oh, wow. Find the mojo again? The Chariot is also a card of putting distance between you two. So take that however it resonates. You may have to disconnect from each other and put distance between you to get y'all's mojo back. Let's throw another one on that. Four of Pentacles, hold back. Hold back, hang back, hold on. Up, up, up. Ten of Cups reversed. It's a split story. Why is the Six of Swords here for projected outcome? Oh, hi! You went flying across the damn room. Okay. Uh, where'd you go? The moon. Moving on, taking the baggage with you. Crossing the river or the ocean of tears, however you want to put it. This particular one is a hot air balloon. It's not a boat, so, you know, it's whatever. Um, one more. The moon can represent smoke and mirrors and lies and deception it can also mean you're not supposed to know it's not supposed to be eliminated for you it's supposed to be a secret you're not supposed to figure it out you're just supposed to go with it but either way you're going to come out of your state heartbreak you will pull out of this okay you may just have to accept the ending, Sagittarius. I don't know. It's not my journey. I mean, it might be. I'm a Sagittarius. They don't call me Big Mama Sag for nothing, but, you know. I'll keep that one to myself. Your advice. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Seven of Wands in the upright. Wow. Regain control. You can't battle somebody else's inner demons. All you can do is control your own. So, if there's some toxic stuff going on and it's not your toxic stuff, maybe letting go of this person and letting them deal with their toxic stuff is what you need to do. But you got to regain control. Okay. Five of Wands in the upright and Nine of Swords in the reverse. Now I'm going to take this one because maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Seven of Pentacles. Do not overthink this. Okay. 
Do not let confrontations consume you. You, have, you don't lose patience with each other. A lot of this is... A great deal of this was straight up a loss of patience. Somebody kind of lost their mojo. Somebody was getting a little bit too needy and clingy. It got draining. Somebody was kind of engaging in some toxic crap. It all fell to hell. You got a tower to rebuild. And you got to decide if you want to rebuild it. Hmm. Put some more on for that. Don't overthink it. Don't lose patience. And not everything has to be a battle. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is in the reverse. Apologies may be in order on somebody's side. Maybe both. But... Ask yourself what place that apology is coming from. Is it coming from a place of need and dependency? Or is it coming from a place of honesty and truth? Whether you're the one apologizing or them. Where's it coming from? Seven of Pentacles reversed and the King of Swords reversed. Do not lose patience with each other and maintain positive attitude. Watch what you say. You cannot take your words back. Words hurt. Worse than any beating you can ever give anybody. They really do. Sag, I know how you are. <laughs> I know how you can be. You can be a little aggressive. And I don't mean physically aggressive. I mean verbally. <sighs> I've seen it. I've lived it. I've done it. I'm guilty. And I don't mean to call you out. All too often, and in this, this is across the board for all signs, we say things we don't mean. You say it in the heat of the moment. Because you're angry and you're frustrated and you're lost. But don't. Don't. Once it comes out of your mouth, you can't take it back. Just watch what you say. Okay. Hmm. The page of wands and the judgment in the reverse. Super weird, but okay. I'll run with that. Thank you, guides. Um, the correct action is taken quickly enough. The universe's judgment could be reversed. There is a. It is possible to rebuild the tower. It all depends on how you go to approach this. What is necessary. Okay, okay. One more, and then I think we're going to call it good because I'm a little tired. Queen of Swords in the upright and the Page of Swords. Back to words and how we use them. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the other person. The truth might hurt. But it's all in how you say it. Don't be mean. Be nice. Sagittarius, I know you're capable. So going back to the watch what you say and watch how you say it because once it comes out of your mouth it cannot be taken back 
we don't get that moment in time back so use it very wisely okay Sag I love you guys you're my heart you're a little piece of my soul this beautiful wonderful soul family we have here at Fire Sign Tarot thank you so much love you bits I'm going to bed okay for all of my friends who might be cross watching for Sagittarius that happens to be a cardinal sign so Aries having a brain fart Capricorn Cancer Really? Libra. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, I know there's another one. So, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra. You guys are tomorrow, not necessarily in that order, because, well, Aries, I'm sorry, you gotta go last. But, know that y'all are loved. Be blessed. Thank you so much. And, have a good one. I'll catch you in a couple of weeks for the first half of June.